Hello and welcome to What Map, the map view show for City Skylines. There are tens of thousands of maps in the workshop now, and so finding the right one for your next build is a huge task. So each day, Monday to Saturday, we'll review one, using our 5 star rating for aesthetics, detail and gameplay potential, awarding only the very best of the coveted seal of approval. So join me, fellow Skylines explorers, as we venture to today's new land. Who am I? I'm Bon Bon B, and you are very, very welcome. Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to Tuesday's What's Map. Bon Bon here, how you doing? And Happy New Year, if you missed yesterday, go back and watch it straight after today. Now it's the first map and the creator request, so... It's the first map. I've got a new sting made. <laughs> Oh, the fun I have. Anyway, it's updated Port Albany, British Columbia, Canada, Vancouver Island, Port Albany and Parksville by Hellblazer. Well, that's one <laughs> heck of a name that you're not going to forget anytime soon. There's your start square. And here's your map resources. So anyway, yes, as I said, it's not only a creator request, but it is a first map. So uh, we can probably expect a few early mistakes, but these things happen. Network extensions to Pine Tree and unlimited outside connections. Although there is a little problem, a wee little problem, but nothing major that we'll look at when we when we get into the map proper there. A little bit to read, not huge amounts, suggested mods and all that kind of thing. Um, and explained how they've updated the map from the unupdated Port Albany, British Columbia, Canada, Vancouver Island, Port Albany and Parksville original. <sighs> Ooh. Well, I had a look at Google Earth. As you can see, we've got um, a National Road there, and a few yards up the road here, we have got a dual carriageway. Uh, elevated bit there. That seems quite nicely done. Thank you very much for that. Dual carriageways are separated by quite a bit of a gap there, and they're running parallel and not very far. Look, we've got hardly any gap between. There's certainly no zoning space between these roads. Reason being is it's obviously not to scale. And there's a little connector, connect them all together to start off with and we move onwards. Yes, not to scale. And these roads in real life would be right on top of each other. And I think I would have preferred that because they're drifting even further apart now, using up so much space in doing so. And we've got another, the roads come together just for this connection. And I, I would have kept them like that all the way, you know. I would have kept them like that all the way anyway so yeah they're um they're a little uppy downy but not lumpy bumpy and i think we can allow it uppy downy uppy down is not too bad as long as the the ups and the downs aren't too steep i don't mind them that much at all so yes as i was saying these these roads are well i mean oh look at that for an intersection that's a little bit ugly i've got to be honest with you a little bit ugly but it it's obviously hand tooled and we'll, we'll give that anyway that oh, is still hugging the um hugging the river banks or the the lake banks i guess that would be and um yeah the underpass there a little bit of a ramp coming off there that's actually coming towards us so if you want to get a bit of air off that bridge get a little bit of speed up and way off the end there but yes um i think definitely moving these two roads together would have been a definite advantage for this map is um at the current size at the current scale that's not too bad those bridges are lovely in parallel and we've got another intersection here another fairly ugly hand tooled one um yes and then that goes off into the fog now if we go off inland now i say inland we'll pretend that um that's all the sea there i think it might actually be the sea um and and we head on in and we go to two lanes to three lanes and three lanes just for a few yards before stopping and having this intersection which is going to cause traffic issues three lanes down to two lanes and then two lanes down to single lane and i mean traffic's flowing all right now because of the obviously not huge amounts of traffic with just through traffic at the moment but yes this was requested by hellblazer quite a while ago i'm sorry oh we're back up oh, a bit steep this this bit it's talking about steepness uh, up to two lanes again there and uh, yeah they requested to say oh back down to one lane okay and of course there's so many so many creator requests and um well subscriber requests that i have trouble staying on top of it 
And so what I'm going to do now on my Patreon page, uh, anybody who's a member over there, I'm going to oh, back up to two lanes. I'm going to give you the option, opportunity to have a oh, now two lanes with a divider and then back down to single lane. What is going on? And two lanes again. <laughs> One lane again. Right, so yes, anybody who wants to get involved with the channel and, you know, not just suggest, but help me decide which creator requests to cover because I've got about a month and a half's worth, maybe a bit more than that. Uh, nice little bridge there, perfect bridge. A month and a half's worth of creator requests to get through and, of course, at any given time, more and more are coming in. And rather than leave it to me, and I t tend to back up to two lanes, I tend to look at the older ones and then come back to that. Um, yeah, I'll, um, you, can, you can help force some of these through. Right, now this is where Port Albany is actually in a real life, in this little area here. And then oh, we've got the factory, which is nice there, part of the old port. And then we go to dirt roads. And this is actually very nicely done, very nicely tooled dirt road, which are going to fly by at high speed. Just because it's a long episode, and I'm actually running this video feed at about one and a half speed, just so we can get the whole whole episode in before midnight. Because there's quite a lot going on, quite a lot going on. And then as we get to the fog, well... It doesn't actually connect with the outside, despite the unlimited outside connections mod. So that's something I think for you to fix when you're in game. But do you really want to have like intercity traffic? Ah, the rail. Hang on, we'll go back to intercity yeah, traffic in a moment. Two level crossings right by each other. It's a place you're going to get stuck in the middle of that. Not ideal. And then I will follow the rail off. So yes, do you really want a dirt road being your main connection to the outside world? I don't know. I re well, I, I'd, I'd say no is the answer actually. But <laughs> this rail line is fairly level. A little bit of a dip there that I would like to see just like elevated slightly. Um, probably an embankment would have been quite nice there. And then off and through the forest. Now we cross across that national road there drop down towards the coast and then come back across it here now this might be following the exact map i didn't look at the uh, google map in that much detail never level crossing but um i think it's probably a little bit um some, sometimes with these maps you have to use a little bit of creative license as they've done by putting the two highways so far from each other with this i think not crossing over so often especially always with level crossings is probably a bad call if i'm honest with you so anyway so that was that and then we had another rail connection here that split off to the left and now this goes inland and this is where they've used a little bit creative license themselves they've said that this particular line doesn't exist anymore but they've put it back into the map for well their creative license and all good to them except i would argue that this is pretty untidy and we get around the corner here and we see it going up the side of the mountain there there one little strut like that would probably be acceptable but now we are just clinging onto the side of the mountains unnecessarily going up the mountain and then dropping down like a stone and there was no need some, no reason for it to go up the mountain when it re-enters the land at that level see that did that need to go up and the answer was not really um, I probably would have tried to find a different route for that rail if you're using creative license make it believable make it workable right and now we'll head off um, look at a little bit a little bit steep that for going up the hill and uh, we are now heading in towards uh, Port Albany area. Uh, zigzags, not too bad. A little bit of, a little bit of poetic license, I think. There, as we head towards the conclusion, which means it's time for today's. Today's, what is it? Today's. <laughs> the asset review. You knew. You knew. You guessed it. Now this is OKS by Mikael. Mikael. Now, at first, I thought this was a mosque. And then I saw all the crosses, and I thought, what is all this about? Uh, then I did my research, and this is Omps Cathedral, which is a Russian Orthodox church. And uh, the Russians know how to build beautiful churches, don't they? Look at this. This is absolute glory. And actually, if you like to have a look on the wiki or just a, a Google image search, this is pretty realistic as well. 
excellent work. I love it. Okay, yes, by Mick Cahill. And that is today's very churchy church church asset of the day. Q, 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 Q the music. Back, back with you. Right, shipping routes. We've got one that goes around an island. Um, this one goes along the coast. We've got another one that goes around the island. There are a couple of islands there, but we're not going to look at them today, to be honest with you. Um, there's not much to see out there, to be honest with you. And then we've got a third one that comes in down this ravine, down this river here. And dead ends down by our little lighthouse, the essential lighthouse. Oh, yes. The water, the river flow, also heads this way. And if it flows this way, and it so, so, stops flowing here but then we've got water flowing towards us so anything on that river is going to feed into this area here and anything coming down here is going to feed into that area as well sewage trap and I don't see any um, any drain any sump there same again here we've got water which is coming yep hang on that's going that way as well so we've got water going two directions now it's coming this way so it's all being forced into here Okay, so all the water's getting forced into that dead end, and I don't see any drain there either. And then we've got water flowing down this way. Uh, where's this one going? So, even once again, if you put sewage in here, it's going to flow down here. This is good, good movement. And where's this going to lead us to? Oh, the lighthouse again. So any any sewage outlets in that network there are just going to end up any uh, movement here. No movement here. About this one. Uh, well, we've got water flowing down into it. So anything popped on there is going to come into a dead end here. And I don't see a drain there either. Okay. So let's have a look out to sea. Because we're going to have sewage issues. Hopefully there's water movement here. And the answer to that is... There's no water movement here either. That is not so good. Right, terrain. We've got quite a few interesting build areas. Now this is where the where the map starts taking a little bit of shape, is where can you build? And the build plane is not perfectly flat, a little bit of undulation, um, plenty of space to build down on this side of this mountain ridge. And blimey, is there a mountain ridge? And then when you get down here, there's build area over here as well, once again, very usable. Um, out this way, you can't really do too much out here, okay, and we'll head back in, and um, we've got less, some build areas on the hills, and, ah, the essential lighthouse, let's have a look at it, red one today, red one, very pretty, needs a lick of paint though, okay, and now, 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 let's have a look at down here, You've got, um, it's quite steep ravines, so where you put your docks down here, maybe down here, little docks area down here maybe. Uh, anything down here, a little bit of space on the right, not much to say there. Oh, we've got the river there, right. Okay, seeing that now. Um, ah, it's essential light, I've seen that, seen that. Uh, let's have a look at these, ah, uh, this mountain ridge. This is quite a big old chunk of rock here. And I think um, a different theme might have worked. Don't forget my new series, A What Theme, at 5pm UK time, Monday to Saturdays, while stocks last, as they say. Got some... That was interesting. I wonder if there was ever a road going up this way. If you look here, it looks like there was a bit of flat build here. The maybe... I mean, yes, river. Maybe it was a river. But it kind of looks flat enough to have been sort of like a planned road. So we follow this. Where's this going to take us out if we follow this up? Up this way? Yeah, we've got a little bit of a small town up there. Uh, that's It's something you could do, I guess. Um, anything else? Uh, we've got a bit of a slopey build plane here on the side of the mountain. That could be a nice little mountain town there with some nice slope roofed um, houses. Bit of rock detailing on the top of the mountain. And another rock detail on top of that mountain. That's what erosion for you. Just leaves you with an odd rock on the top. Or maybe somebody carried up and put it there. Finally, a little bit of interesting detailing. It's a lookout point. What we're we looking out for? I have no clue. Perhaps it's um, falling trees. Yes, they, they could have put that warning there before. <laughs> before planting those bushes. We've underlined it with some logs as well, which probably would have rolled down that hill by now. So, um, an interesting thing 
Uh, yeah, just missed that car. An interesting lookout point. Doesn't really serve any purpose. Um, I wonder if that's there in real life. I'm not checking. You can if you like. Aesthetically, it's okay. It's not awful. I think it probably doesn't look too much like the place. But I'm going to give it. I'm going to be generous and give it a third star. Three stars for aesthetics. Detailing, detailing. It lets itself down. I think those roads need pushing together. Um, all sorts of minor in, and that rail on the clinging on the side of the mountain. Two stars for detailing. And gameplay potential, there are lots of issues here, I'm afraid. Um, the roads all running from the same area to the same area along... It's, it's a bit tricky. I'm, I'm giving two stars for gameplay as well. Updated Port Albany, blah de blah de blah by Hellblazer, and that is today's map. Well, thanks for watching, commenting, liking and subscribing. There's uh, all my current Patreons. If you want to join them, it's uh, not too late to get your name in there for February. And, uh, yeah, it'd be good to see you. Well, anyway, I'll see you tomorrow with another map in the What Map series. And um, have a great day. Speak to you soon.